I imagine most race fans have their favorite track, or one which has sentimental value to them. Although I've enjoyed going to all the tracks you've seen here on Pit Pass, there is one that I have fond memories of, Heston Speedway. It is there that I got my first taste of short track racing action when I saw my dad compete there in the late 60s. Built by the Ericsons, it is now once again under the guidance of one of their own. Heston Speedway was built in the early 60s by Robert Sonny Erickson. Tom and Dave Erickson were very young when their father began carving out a racetrack on the family property. So the earliest recollection I can remember was riding tricycles behind that old D7 dozer when he was building because it was pretty scary. We might even got a beating before we were up there riding and he didn't know he was behind it. I remember that. And then, you know, by 12 years old, I was watering the track. And, you know, we helped water the track from as far back as we can remember. I remember my dad taking us for a ride in one of his, the, a, a race car that my dad never drove, but he owned race cars that raced at the, at the fairgrounds in Huntington. He r rode us in the hayfield where this racetrack is now. I remember riding in the car, in the race car, with my brother Dave and my sister Carol. We were, we all rode, my dad took us for a ride and, and he said, this is going to be where the track is. <laughs> and it, it was a hayfield. For many years, the track ran on Sundays, which meant many of the top drivers chose to race at the Speedway in addition to the regular venues. Dad chose Sunday simply because of the car count, you know, because you were competing against Port Royal, and so he chose Sunday, and he ran Sunday always. You know, it was the, it was the day, which crowd-wise, you know, I don't think that that was the best day for the crowd, but it was the, definitely the best day to get the most cars for the area of the time. Besides assisting their father with the track, the brothers found success as racers. Over time, Tom developed into one of the region's top drivers on dirt and asphalt. When we went to the races, we went to win, and we won, I don't know how many percent, but we didn't get beat very often. <laughs> In 1978, the track was closed and was sold to a real estate agency. Jay Grubb eventually bought the property, reopening the track at the end of 1993. He would later sell it to Ryan Lynn. And my wife told me a few years ago to buy it, but I really didn't know if I was up to the challenge of really running the Speedway because in my mind it needed so many upgrades to bring it up to a, a professional standard. And uh, so then I made a decision there uh, two year and a half ago to purchase it. Tom currently works for a team in NASCAR's Mexico Series. When he's able to make it home, he assists with track decisions, running the Speedway's dirt driving experience, and even racing as time allows. A anything that I can do, any way I can help him, any way I can get anybody to help with this racetrack, I'm going to do that. You know, hopefully when Brother Tom's done with Mexico, you know, and hopefully he'll come in and help me with the track at a later time because it's a lot for one person. You need several good people. You know, I mean, we'll have 27 people who work there on race night. Improvements have already been made at the facility. The parking area has been enlarged to accommodate more cars. Slate has been laid down in the pit area, and the outside of turns one and two has been transformed from a pit area to another drive-in viewing location, with a long-term plan to add grandstands there as well. I want to see a set of grandstands on there and that'll sort of be like a little Bristol effect, you know, because you're looking down over them, so that'll make a pretty good deal there on the grandstand section there. And at the same time, we'll have, we have enlarged the parking. Now, for example, let's say you're going to have the Pennsylvania Dream, $100,000 race one day, uh, five, six years down the road, and you're looking to get in 200 cars. Okay, we're right up there. We only got parking for half of them. Uh, the next long-term thing would be, would be to take the drive-in viewing ramp and make a, uh, a road down off of it that you could enter off the drive-in viewing ramp to turn two, okay? Now, if you enlarged your grandstands twice the height in around one and two, where you could accommodate the correct amount of people to make a good purse, now you got to get the cars in. So you could turn the hill, the drive-in viewing ramp, into race car parking 
and as long as you can get them down off the hill to the track. Dave feels that once everything is in place, Heston will be one of the marquee tracks in the state. Uh, I would say in 10 years from now, we'll put Heston on the map to be the premier track. That's the goal. Uh, you know, right now, uh, you got some big shows in PA, but you know, your biggest shows right now are out of state, most of your big shows. Uh, so, you know, once you got the facility where you can have the, 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 the people there and the facilities to handle the bigger rigs and whatnot, then it would be nice to get some big name shows in. The names Erickson and Hessen Speedway have become synonymous over time, one that will continue for years to come. I have no children, so I figure the track will be our legacy. Uh, I'll take it and, and I've already started to renovate it and make major changes and, and enlarging the parking lot. And you know that I, I look at it that I'm working on the foundation of it, just like you're starting a new building. I gotta work on the bottom first. So I'll work on the bottom with the, the footer, so to speak, just like building a house. We're digging the foundation right now. So 50 years later, we're laying new dirt down where originally our father laid it down 50 years ago. Uh, I'm, I'm sure my dad's looking down and saying, uh, my brother Dave, good job, son. The packed house for the 4th of July three state flyers race proves that Heston has the potential to host big league races. I know I look forward to watching races at the Speedway for many years to come.